Hello, Dr. Chaliot. Hello. Great to have you back. Good to be here. Thanks for coming. Excellent. Today we want to go over the competition uh, with the batting glove, like who you see your competitors as, um, who's on the market currently that's doing similar things with the batting glove that, that you are with your concept. Sure. I think that's great to go over. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, there hasn't been a tremendous amount of development in the technology that's been incorporated into the batting glove in probably the last 50 years. Some of the players today are still hitting barehanded. There's a few select group that are still out there, uh, but an overwhelming majority of the players are still wearing a glove that is hard to distinguish from a golfing glove. There's no protection. It's just to help improve a little bit of the grip on the bat. Um, there's a couple different companies that haven't uh, introduced protective um, components into the batting glove. Probably the most well-known is uh, Evo Shield. Um, they have a insert that is packaged separately from the glove uh, that is inserted into the glove in a two-step process. It's heated up um, and then uh, is claim to provide protection to the dorsum of the hand. Um, there's a few other kind of novel products that slip over the thumb to help protect some of the ligaments uh, of the hand. And that's really about the extent of the gloves that have made it into the majors uh, and the college level. The advantage of our glove and its design is that it incorporates all of these um, protective modalities into one package. There's no extra steps. Everything gets customized to the player's hand because the protective plate that is in the glove uh, is molded to the, the player's hand. Uh, so each one is very specific, so there's no pinching points. Uh, the straps of our glove are already in place and have been uh, tested not only in the lab, but in the field with several major league players to make sure the uh, positioning of these straps don't offer any um, motion limitations and still offer all of the protection. That's great. I mean, it seems like that's a huge advantage just having everything all in one with the glove. I mean, I think it would just be an inconvenience to have to start adding things onto a glove uh, for the protection when you can just put it on and you're ready to go to bat. And that's really what we wanted to accomplish was having the glove provide all of these protective components, but it to look exactly like a regular batting glove and not be a, a, a large bulky, almost boxing glove appearance uh, on the batter's hands, uh, which can be a distraction to the batter's uh, sight picture uh, when holding their hands up near their line of sight of the pitcher. And I'm sure the pitcher loves seeing a big target for them to maybe aim at. So we, we've eliminated both of those obstacles. Oh, that's great. That is excellent. Well, we uh, um, can't wait to see the glove and uh, looking forward to that as well. So we released a poll last week for the name of the batting glove, but we're going to re-release that because we've had a lot of people that have had a hard time finding it. So we're going to release that again. So we'll be looking for that tomorrow. And uh, we thank you again for taking the time to talk to us about the batting glove. Thank you so much. Look forward. Great. All right.